Hey everyone, welcome back. This is week 11 of the 100 Day Transformational Challenge. This week we will be discussing product creation. So information products we'll be talking about and the different ways that you can create these and a lot of resources. You may hear a lot about people creating their own products and perhaps you have thought about doing the same. Now is a good time to identify why you may or may not have begun the process so far. If you've been doing marketing online for, for a couple of years even or even longer, I'm sure you've bought someone's product or you've heard people suggest that you do the same. So at this time, start thinking about what's holding you back. Is it fear? Is it because you think it may cost a lot? Maybe you think it will take up a lot of your time. Well, much of what we'll be discussing today, you'll see that it won't take much of your time, doesn't require money, and sometimes it doesn't require uh, a lot of money, but you'll have to pay something. It depends on um, which way you want to go, what your skill set is, will you need help, and what is your budget. So, as I said before, tonight we're going to go over a few ways you can create your own product yourself, or you can use outsourcing which you have learned in a previous training. Believe it or not, you can create your own product in as short a time as 48 hours. All you need to do is commit to the task. And for some of us, if, you, if you're anything like um, the way I was in the past, that's the hardest part, committing to get it done and step out, step on out, step up to the plate and, you know, and have at it. This is a list of the types of products you may enjoy creating. Also, um, let's not forget that this is a great way to increase your income. Once you get started, you will find it gets easier and you become more comfortable doing it. So we'll be talking about popcorn products, ebooks, live events, coaching, licensed product creation, membership sites, interviews, private label rights, up what you're called PLR for short and resale rights we'll be discussing about tools software plugins and themes and then you'll have a bunch of resources to refer to so let's get started oh did I I want to remind you in case you knew this is Lydia Brown <laughs> presenting tonight so let's start with a po popcorn product this type of product is a one problem, one solution that you offer. You just come up with one problem and come up with an awesome solution. You you could come up with a few solutions, but um, it's it's short reports that you sell. You might sell for seven dollars, but it needs to be quality. What you're selling is results. You're not selling uh, gadgets. You're selling information about something a person can do that will solve the problem they're interested in. It's not going to be a long ebook or long video or long um, recording audio, but you come up with that one problem and then you, you present some awesome facts and resources about what a solution could be. And, and you do this right it will add to your following. People will look for you. Now, don't think that, oh, you can't make a lot of money selling a $7 product because you market it and also word of mouth, you do it right, your, your body copy is right, and you'll be surprised how many you can sell. So now, the next one would be ebooks. You can create an ebook in about 48 hours if you dedicate the time. You can do it over a weekend. And you can use a mind map to help you build out your book. There's a free tool called freemind.sourceforge.net. You can go there and download the tool. And it will help you create something like this you can set up a little tab like this and then you click it and it'll spring out a line and you create your next tab and your next tab. So if you were going to write an ebook about Facebook marketing, you might have, uh, well, I want to remember to have a checklist. I want to remember to address fan pages, uh, what tools, and then you can have 
start another group over here where it would be like um for fan pages what would you do for for the cover part of the page your picture what tool would you use there so you would break it all out brainstorm so you won't forget it's better than have it on paper and a mind map will help you do this now I did this right here simply using the tool that's in PowerPoint but a mind map will let you do this and it's, if you ever seen like an organization chart a company would do and it has the lines and the build out about the hierarchy of the staff well just say you're going to build out the hierarchy of each topic that you're going to want in this ebook and all that you need you're going to break it down in smaller increments for each and then you refer to it so that you don't leave anything out so you're going to research and write about a topic it's suggested and I found that this work uh, worked for me when I was writing I wrote a, a training book on um, about Twitter and I'll tell you about how I started that when we get further down the line use a timer to set up 30 minute blocks of time uh, do nothing else but write don't answer the email don't answer the phone or anything like that 30 minutes just write 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 and then you can start again on the next topic that you want in your book or you could say topic chapter however you want to reference it and that's how you can write it out okay the link is here and it'll be under resources for for a free mind mind map tool and it is free and I checked tonight to make sure it was still free you download it and I believe you need to have uh, Java at least Java 1.4 on your computer already and you can do a search because there are others online you can find uh, there's paid ones and there's other free ones but this was suggested to me by one of my coaches maybe about a year ago and I found that it worked all right for some reason it won't open for me tonight I think I need to update my Java but it works and it's easy to use so the next type of product would be live events using live webinar or teleseminars you can introduce your product to your audience and include a PayPal button depending on the software using or give a link to your PayPal payment option the one thing is that this can work so many ways for you one you, if you're afraid you, you don't have to be in front of people there are, are plenty six and seven eight figure earners who are giving webinars and teleseminars and you won't see their face you you might see a picture of them when they as they introduce themselves and tell you a little about them but they're, they're not live so you can be comfortable you can have your favorite little drink coffee tea or whatever with you and relax so you could bring people in by doing a video sales letter and advertising this live training event and what it's going to be about and have people pay to come into it or you can use a live event to introduce to train do some training and introduce people to a new product related to the training you did that that day that night and guide them to your PayPal button you'd be surprised if you start off giving some really powerful valuable information and quality content people will pay you for these trainings and you can do it weekly if you want you could do it monthly and save the videos on a membership site etc you know so get over the fear and test it out that's all you have to do is test it out now tell a seminar for those who don't know is by phone and with a webinar you could simply show your slide presentation okay and that's all you need to do I've actually it's so funny I've actually been on awesome webinars where the presenter didn't use PowerPoint slides and admitted that it, it annoys them they never really learned how to work with it and it just used a text doc let me see I'm gonna show you exactly what it was like notepad they used notepad and just typed 
They just went on and typed, and that's all they use. You use what you got, because I'm telling you, if your if your information is awesome and you're teaching people something, you're helping them solve a problem. People aren't going to be picky about um, the the tools that you use to do that presentation. If it keeps you comfortable and it's something that you could work with that will decrease having things go wrong with the technology, then use what you have and, and trust that you've done the research, you've tested the information, you feel that it works, present it. Don't let those kind of things hold you back. The next thing is coaching. My computer's running a little slow changing these slides. Coaching, you can offer um, intense one-hour coaching spots. Give the really best information you have. The offer is, is going to be filled with massive value. Give your best. Don't hold back. You can send an email to your list offering this service. You can use Skype or for the local area, if you're working with local retailers, etc., use the phone. You can offer this anytime you want to create to create an additional uh, profit stream. If you want to do it monthly, bi-weekly, what have you, and you can send reminders to your list, and you'd be surprised how much money you can make. You don't have to burden yourself with spending a lot of time coaching people. You know, ongoing. Some people like to do that. You might not want to. You can make money just doing the one time consultation for an hour you um the key here is to be ready to give up all the goodies you know and help someone be successful when you help other people make money and they edify you you can watch your income grow they'll they'll talk about you and that's where your best referrals will probably come in from because people have already said look what he or she taught me and this is what happened wow you know and people will edify you you make them happy so like I said you could do it anytime you want and do follow-up emails with, on, with your list and you can get this one cracking it doesn't take much time because you can also repurpose those trainings you can put it into um, into an audio and have it on the site and give it away if you want or sell it you know different versions you can take that coaching uh rec that you have and record it and later sell the video as part of a package with on your membership site or something like that it's not like you're done with it um any questions that come up during those coaching sessions you know go back to the video or write them down as, you, as you're doing the coaching session and there lies some more ideas for a product so you can get a lot out of it. Just milk it, do it right and milk it and don't be shy. So now we're going to talk about licensed product creation. You can use ClickBank or Pay.com.com to reach out to developers and inquire if you can purchase a license to resell their product now pay.com.com that's I'm not saying that wrong I want you to know that it's actually spelled out pay.com and then you do dot com okay just like you see here <clears throat> get some water so you look for uh, products on ClickBank or Pay.com that have a low, a low gravity rating. And it doesn't mean that the product doesn't sell well. But just because someone's good at developing a product doesn't mean that they're great at marketing. And there might not have been a, a, a need. I mean, you got some developers that just put out products, make their money, grab it, move on. And they're not, the whole interest doesn't have to be that they want to promote this for months and months on a time so this person because it's not selling right now might very well say yeah I'll sell you the the license rights and when you get the license rights you want to be able to do what you want with it and you're gonna ask for uh, permission and let them know that you will also give them credit but when you get the license right 
you want to let them know that you might add some additions or you could repurpose the content and that's why you're buying the license so you could be allowed to do that so when you go to Clickbank you want to look for a product that has a gravity of under 15 and you can offer say for instance you might offer the person $300 to $500 or maybe more depending on how great you think that product is and you want to get your hands on it and your budget so first I'm going to show you an example you might say send an email out and say hi Frank I'm reaching out to let you know I am really loving your blah 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 product I would love to purchase a license to this product to include in my membership site my offer to you is and you put the offer I will definitely give you complete attribution I hope we can work something out as usual your products are the best online to our success Lydia okay you you can send an email something like that use your own voice and somebody might answer you saying no that's all right go try to find a similar product since you was impressed to see um, if you can get something similar with someone else just don't get discouraged somebody uh, some people might not even answer your email but you keep trying you find something good no junk hopefully you used it before or you've done some inquiries from other people asking about it but I wouldn't advise paying money to license a product that I haven't used myself so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about I'll use Clickbank as an example so this is Clickbank and what I did was I clicked I went to marketplace and then I looked under health and fitness and I'm asking that I want the products to be sorted by gravity and I clicked low to high you have two choices low to high high to low I clicked low because I don't want to go through a thousand products so right here you see GRAV zero GRAV zero so remember I said we want 15 or lower so then you click on the product what you try to do is click on the product and find the the person that owns the product so I had clicked on this product for psoriasis I chose this product right here and I went there and I went scrolled down the page and I found the email to get in contact and that's all you have to do um, let's see okay the psoriasis program gmail.com and that's all you need to do you can also go to here's pay dot pay dot com dot com and they also have a marketplace and you look for categories and do a search to find information about the product okay so what to do now after you find your product and and you've paid for it and you have the license and the resale rights what you could say uh, do now is you can improve the product and sell it as your own like I said before you could get affiliates to help get you sales so you're using other people's traffic to make money you can break the product down into separate products like articles or reports blog posts give away information free uh, little snippets of it and bring people back to you want to know more you want to learn more here's the product here's what it costs you can turn the ebook into an audio file like I spoke about before and you can sell the resale rights when you have the full license you could you could sell it to someone else who wants to um, sell a product you you probably won't be able to sell them a license that might be a condition the owner you know presented to you they're giving you a license to do what you want but you can only sell the resale rights and and I definitely will ask them can, does this license include that I can sell the resale rights 
and that's the whole purpose of having um, the license because the more you could do with it you can have fun uh, you know and, and make money but be real clear what the developer owner of the product is allowing you to do with that license so you could sell the resale rights and you could sell the private label rights but you might sell it and, and be, depending on the conditions set up when you bought it, you might be able to say to the person, well, I can sell, I can sell you the rights to use this. I can sell you the private label rights. You know, you could take it and put your name on it, but uh, you can't sell it. You know, I've, I've bought PLR products and some you could sell, you could do everything with it, uh, give it away and all that. And I've had some that say you can't give it away. You have to sell it things like that you know and you can't sell it for any less than a certain figure because they don't want you undercutting their prices so you do the research and you ask the questions and then you go have fun with it but I always repurpose this type of information ebooks and things like that by at least 80 percent so now Let's go to membership sites. And I believe you had a training or you will be having a training soon with Aurora in reference to membership sites. And we use the Profit Builder. So while it does take some time to set up and, and fill a membership site with content, don't be discouraged because if your budget is, uh, is there, you can pay someone to set it up for you. However, today what we're focusing on is fixed term membership sites. All you need to get started is your first lesson on the site, your payment processor, and your autoresponder. You can create a new lesson weekly for, for the term of membership you have committed to. So you have your membership site ready to go in a few days. And as people come in through your funnel and pay to be a member of that site, each week they'll go in on whatever day you said new content is there or you can always email them and say lesson two is ready blah 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 the name of it you send it out in the email and they'll come on the site because they they're paying weekly they're paying weekly to get these lessons and you can set it up that it, well is it going to be a month four weeks of training or is it going to be uh, three months of weekly trainings you set up the way you want and then before you know it, you've got a lot of content on that site that you can do another funnel and share with people all this good stuff, module one, module two, so forth, that you're going to have in there already because you've done all these trainings weekly for all your new members when you first got started. So, fixed term membership site consist of weekly content shared via an autoresponder to paid members for a specified period of time. Jimmy D. Brown, he's a marketing expert. Oh, I love his um, information. I'm on his email list. Get on his email list. He sends you a lot of great information. You can use outsourcing to create software, plugins, and WordPress themes. So um, you can get all the help you need if you get stuck and you have the budget or be patient with yourself and allow yourself to be a student and learn. And this is the link to Profit Builder. Uh, that's what we use for our membership site. And you can also use it for landing pages, for your funnels, and you'll be off to the races, okay? Now, how about interviews? What do you think about that? Don't be shy. Don't be timid. Get out of your own way. Once you get out of your way, you'll be all right. I learned that myself. Um, to have a complete and helpful product, do a series of interviews on the same topic. If it's about Facebook, you will interview Michelle Pesco Salido, John Numa, Amy Porterfield. You'll have a great product. And then you'll offer it to people. And, and you can have a, you know, you've probably received this. An email that says, see how five seven-figure earnings made their first 1K in 30 days. You, you know, you have a, a, a title like that and promote it and bring people in. Now, you can do these interviews using Skype 
um, or whatever webinar tool you have that's connected to Google Hangout or you can use get Google Hangout um, by itself and have a video interview or you can use mp3s do a uh, use Skype recorder tool it's the mp3 Skype recorder tool it's free this is the link to get it and record an audio interview where can you find these experts your company leaders forums Ezine, anybody who you you always read up on their stuff on Ezine or other emags or e networks online, people you brought products from, blogs, ClickBank, um, just brainstorm some ideas. It's probably even easier for you to reach out to someone whose products you use because you can talk to them about their product when you meet with them and try to establish a rapport. Create a spreadsheet and, and the list of names, websites, emails, etc. that you get. It's okay if you hear no or don't get a response. Your job is just to keep on at it and ask as many people as you can. Contact these people um, on your list and build a relationship. Comment on their blog, Facebook page, etc. And then later ask if you can interview them. Start off building the rapport first, okay? So like something like this. I'm going to email Michelle. So the subject line is, I really love Michelle Pesco Salido's blog. Hi, Michelle. I know you get a lot of emails, but I felt compelled to thank you for all that I have learned from reading your blog. I've been following you on Facebook and reading your blog for a long time. Your tips have been so helpful to me. Then tell a little bit more about yourself and mention a tip in particular that you got from this person and how it helped you. And then thank them. Don't ask them to interview them uh, right then. Get your name out there first. Get your name out there by sending them a message. Don't be hurt if you don't get a response. They're busy. Don't take it personal. And right after you finish sending that email, just make sure you, you comment to their content on the blog. Substantial comments, not no I agree and just thank you. You know, keep it interesting. And so you could become memorable. Go to their fan page, comment to their post, comment to their post on their pri on their profile. Um, because you'll be surprised that they will remember your name when you're standing in front of them and showing them that you're paying attention and you become important to these people also because while well, they want you to buy their products, they want you to pay attention. They're doing hard work. They they're paying money to to um virtual assistants to put content and they mean for it to help someone and you show up and you're saying hey I'm over here and I see you and I like you and I like what you presented and it's helping me and it, we're, you know we're dealing with human beings they're not robots so it does matter to most that you reach out and touch okay you don't have to hide on the sidelines now this is private label rights and resale rights and I, I touched on that before when I was talking about the licensing what I like about private label rights and, and resale rights you are able to put your name and modify edit and add your name to to content um, you repurpose the content make it your own don't be lazy repurpose it to at least about 80% you know, I mean, really think and use your head and, and, you know, if somebody's selling to you, they sold to other, about a hundred other people and statistics and information they have in there, um, is you hopefully factual, you go to a good person with a great reputation for selling this type of product, but you don't want someone to buy something from you that on this topic that they really bought from someone else. And it's identical. And they're sitting around wondering who's copying who. Probably the last person they touched and got it from is who they're going to call the copier. Make it your own. And, and if you ask them for money, you know you want to give good product. So, excuse me a minute. I just want to change something right here. Get this little out. 
there you go I, I hate that when I find a little error okay so when you do this when you repurpose add more value to the and you know to the offer bonuses uh, uh, another PR pay uh, private label rights ebook you can add to it you can add a, um, a mp3 interview recording or video recording on top of it all in the same topic area and sell it for more than if you would have sold the first product by itself create your own sales funnel and like I said you can put a few of these together and offer a course even and and if you're gonna do a course make sure you got you have a uh, high quality information there for them okay not no slim pickings put some really good how people say this ninja tip this ninja trick you know try not to just um, throw stuff together and be lazy because you bought private label rights to a product do some research and really juice it up and make it your own. So now we're going to go to. I'm going to show you a couple of sites where you can get good PLR products. This is a really good site, Tiffany Lambert's blog. She has awesome packages and she has these like dollar PLR fire sales, five dollar PLR. Uh, sales and they they can be in the internet marketing network uh, network um, niche and it could be in dating niche. She she has an awesome amount of stuff and her link will be in under resources. And then you have niche content. This is another well known site that you can get information from. Now for tools, software, and plugins and WordPress themes. You can use outsourcing and crowdsourcing. If you have the skill, you could do it yourself. But there's no limit to how many tools you can develop and, mar and market. Think of something that you, you ever said, I wish somebody would develop something like blah, 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 or it make my life so much easier. Well, if you, if you have the skills to do coding or whatever, do it yourself. Or there are sites which are, will be in, under resources where you can pay people to do it for you and you can sell it. You can actually sell it and make money and show people how it works. Do a video and you'd be surprised. People love um, automation. They love when something can give them back some of their time so they can be more productive. And you can also design a game or, or, or you know, that young children, adults love playing games. So the, the list really goes on to what you can have done. So under resources, I put, I want you to remember paypal.com as a, as a payment processing source. Aweber, we'd be grateful if you use our link. This is an affiliate link for Aweber for your autoresponder. Replace myself, uh, Aurora, I reviewed this a couple of weeks ago. Another place for outsourcing, people per hour dot com, odesk.com, elance.com, and 99designs.com. You can have a WordPress theme created for you there. And then, let me see, did I put this on here? Here, um, Freemind, here's the link for Freemind to Mind Map. Micro Lancer for outsourcing, Theme Forest, they will do the code for you. You get the theme done by 99design and then you can get the code done here or you could um, code canyon.net you can get the code. Profit Builder membership site this is our affiliate link we appreciate if you would use this. Um, it was featured in one of your webinars. If you have questions ask us in the group and Skype MP3 recorder tool it's free. This is the site These are the resources for the private label rights and resale rights. These are different places. I showed you two of them where you can get really good um, PLR. These, these are were highly recommended. Put it on your file, bookmark it, even if you don't want to do your own product now so you'll have it and won't forget. These are really great. So I hope you enjoyed this content. 
um, your homework is basically go visit some of the sites. Go take a look and see if there's something one way or another to make a product that you'd like to help have launched. And get back to us and let us know if you need our help. We're here to help you with this challenge. Take care and we'll see you next week.